My name is James Williams Jr. This is part one. I'm addressing acting. I just went back and watched the things I'm going to talk about. This goddamn Gatorade bottle is pissing me off. I want to address acting. Alright, so as an independent filmmaker, I wear over 15 hats. So let me shoot off the first five hats. First, I'm the writer. Second, I'm the director. Third, I'm the actor. I'm the fight coordinator. And I'm the guy that does all the editing and make everybody else look good. In doing that, we have to make sure that we get the perfect shots with camera. See the camera. We have to make sure that we get the right angles. We have to make sure that for those who are not experienced in working in front of the camera, we have to make sure you understand where the camera is. We have to make sure you understand the angles, the shots, and everything that comes with it. Because when you're working in making films, those are the minute things that are the most important. Your, your lines, I'm an improv specialist. I don't really work well with scripts. I can do scripts, but I work better at improvs because it's easier to keep my, my gears going. When, when you're doing improv, we got to talk about it because everything I've ever done has been improv. Improv works better for me because you can always work off your partner. Y'all can discuss the story and then work on what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, how you're going to deliver it, where's it going to be. And your partner, who should also be an improv specialist or at least a trained actor, will either go with it or not. And if they're going with the script, you have to kind of remember the script just enough so that you can feed off what they're saying. Now, here's the thing about acting. Let's keep that real because there's a lot of venues for this thing. All right. There's voiceover acting. I'm looking to get into that. There's acting for streaming services. I damn sure I'm looking to get into that. Uh, regular TV, movies, and other ventures. I'm leaving theater off. Theater is the one acting I'm not going to get into because I personally know that I am not good at theater. And it ain't got nothing to do with race because they did do a Jesus Christ Superstar where Jesus was black. They've done a lot of Shakespeare and some of the actors have been black. The problem is with me is that I know for sure that there are no mixed people in Shakespeare. The only Shakespearean play that I know that even remotely stars a black person is Othello. And then you have the mystical A Midsummer Night's Dream. All right. Those are the ones that um, your color range of ethnicity won't really matter. But if you're going to do Caesar, or if you're going to do Macbeth, sorry, this will be offensive. That's mostly about white people. Okay? So we got that out of the way. Now, when you're doing streaming services or when you're doing TV, the best thing about that shit is editing. Editing is what makes your career. Editing will make you look great. Even when you suck. And editing will carry the story along, you know. So the director has to be in the editing room to make sure that he got the right shot, the right lyric that he wants to match up with that to carry the story along. Now, I will say, Smart Money says you film with four different camera angles. All right? You have your outside, your extra outside, your inside, and your extra close. So if you want to do dialogue and you decide... I want a close-up dialogue so that people can do that. And when I put it together, I only want the close-up dialogue. It will be a little touchy and a little dicey, but the close-up dialogue sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. And usually if you have a good makeup artist, I'm naturally ugly, so a mid-shot's probably the best, like for what you're getting right now. It's probably the best. So you get the whole body, you get to see the body language, you get to see everything that's going into the shot. Where if you're doing a close-up shot, you just get to see the facial expressions. And if you um, get like me, once I see that camera, I'll start giggling. So then I'll be like, oh, we got to do it again. So as long as I don't see the camera. And that's the thing about acting. They teach you to feed off your co-star. And they, try to, they have to teach you directly to not look directly into the camera. Unless it's one of those scenes that require you to go, I'm looking dead into the camera. Now, if it's not one of those scenes, then you're good. So... You, you hit your little monologue off and everything, and your co-star hits off their monologue. Y'all shoot that scene two or three times, and the directors and the editors, they discuss it, and they go over it while you're off filming another scene or taking a break or whatever it is you do. Now, for independent films, that's a whole different bracket of stuff. All right? So as an independent filmmaker, I'm going to tell you how this works. Uh, we don't rap when we just rap one scene. We go from scene to scene to scene to scene to scene 
and we rap when the sun goes down. All right. Now, because we are not, uh, excuse me, because we're not like really financed by anybody, we have the time to do that, but we don't have the finances to do that. So we have to get all of our shots done on film day. Now, there's more than one film day, but when you're doing independent films and everybody has their own life outside of your film and they have to work, you have to make your schedules. So if you're filming a schedule, we're fighting all day. We're doing fight scenes all day. Okay, so we also don't have a wardrobe. So you you also have to stay consistent. So, you know, that the clothes you have that day. I have two of these yellow shirts. So I tell people all the time, if you're going to film, buy like double of everything. So I have two of these yellow shirts, especially if you're independent filming and you don't have a wardrobe. And a lot of people aren't as creative as me on the shopping thing. So if I want to film and I want this shirt to be yellow for the whole film and to make sure that everyone knows that it's all happening in the same day, I wear two of the yellow shirts. I have two, I haven't used yellow shirts. I had a camouflage shirt in Guardians of the Earth, but I had two of them. One of them got shredded, so... Which is the also reason why you have two of the same shirts. So I have two of the same shirts. I have two of the same pair of pants. Now, if the event in the film is going to take place over two or three days, you discuss wardrobe long before you start filming. All right. So that way, when you guys are filming, you go, okay, everybody, we're filming everything day one, part one of day one. So if Today is like Friday in the show, and I'm supposed to wear yellow and gray until we switch to the next scenes of the next day or the next week or whatever. We're wearing the same shit. So if you have two outfits like that in case you want to change clothes, you know, because sometimes you sweat and it gets sticky and icky and you don't want to keep wearing that while you're running. Sometimes your deodorant fails, so you have to go wash off a little bit and get some stuff on. So we don't want to burn our actors out too badly, but we're going to film, let's say we film... Fight scene A, B, C, and D, they all take place on Friday, so this is the gear you're going to wear. We're going to film this for approximately two weekends, possibly three weekends, because you can, you can finish an independent film in a month if everybody shows up to work. Now, if we get everything we need to do for day one out the way, then the next two weekends, we film the final scenes, days two or whatever. And if it takes place over three days, you know, it'll it'll do that. So for Guardians of the Earth and not Path of Ascension, because Path of Ascension takes place all in one day. Guardians of the Earth takes place three months later. So in that, you know, I probably should make sure when I redo this that I put the title in and maybe find a clip from Guardians of the Earth. It's not going to happen. But anyway, I mean Path of Ascension. So anyway, after that, we we have time to rearrange things. So we're going to film everything that happens in that one day and in an hour or whatever or at the same time. You know, the audience has to know when, where, and why. Now, a lot of films, you don't know that. And a lot of TV shows, sometimes they jump off track and only the wisest eyes and ears are catching hold of that. And like, okay, well, if this is happening then and this is happening then. And sometimes it's hard to tell if things are actually happening at the same time or they're happening at a different time or a different hour or whatever. So, you know, you have to be aware of that. So when you're filming, you have to make sure that you keep track of the days you're filming. So we're filming on Saturday and Sunday, and we're filming the first day of the show, or what's going on in the show. Everything's going to be the same, so everybody has to wear the exact same clothes, and we all have to run through and say, okay, you take these clothes off, you go home and you wash them, and you set them up for tomorrow. You know, wash them, dry them, or whatever. And if you can't do that, then we don't film or if you can do that, then we do film. Or what I tell people is, you know, if you leave the clothes with me, I will throw them in the washing machine. Don't leave your underwear or anything. I don't do that. But if you leave, like, your top shirt and all that, I'll wash them, I'll dry them, and they'll be set for the next day so that we can film. Now, if they don't want to do that, then I tell them, okay, look, we can all pull our money together and take our shit to the laundromat and just throw all that shit in there. Let it wash, let it dry, grab our shit, pack it up, ready to go. So anyway, after that, you know, we're ready to film. So it, it pays to wear simple clothing when you're only wearing your own clothing. So that being said, you know, you can 
you can check that out and everything will be straight. All right? Now, you get in the next day, you want to talk about your wardrobe at the end of the first day's shots or when you're done filming everything you're going to do for that day that's supposed to start off like if this movie starts off and the script says Friday and everything happens on that Friday and then the next day it starts off on a Saturday and Saturday is the last day in the film you want to make sure that everybody's wearing everything that's clear for that Saturday fight. Hopefully this makes sense to all of you as I'm bringing this video to a close but before I do I want you guys to understand it when you're in the independent film business you really only need one, 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 one good one to put you over the threshold. Now, had my original footage of Guardians of the Earth hadn't got stolen and sitting in some desk in Alabama, you guys would already know who I am. I would be famous. All of my friends would be famous. Everything would be great because it was the best thing I ever made. All right? Ever. And the only thing that could have made it better was getting those special effects in. Which, once they got in would have been great had they got all the way in and if the person who couldn't put them in would have just told me no. That would have been great. Because then I would have found someone else who could do it after I got all the stuff established. Okay. So that being said, when I rebuild it, it probably won't have any special effects so you're just going to have to use your imagination and go with it. Alright. That being said, we're done with this part of acting. I will address another acting video right after this. I'm James Williams Jr. This is 11 minutes and 40 some odd seconds that you can't keep back from your life.